Good free and open source software connecting farmers and food producers with buyers through the World Wide Web be another step towards bridging the digital divide. Throughout the world, small and medium scale farmers have to get their goods to market via middlemen. In Malaysia, free and open source software is helping them to avoid the intermediaries. AgriBazaar, an online marketing tool for small to medium enterprises to market their products locally as well as globally, was created using open source software. It's made by a government research and development organization called MIMOS that's supported by the Agriculture Ministry who claims that by using FOSS, it saved money on the total cost of ownership. In other words, all the costs associated with the project. We could have used proprietary software to develop AgriBazaar, but it would cost us a higher to own the total cost of ownership. If you are using a proprietary, it would be higher than if you are using a free open source software. Mimo says the equivalent of 25,000 US dollars was saved in software licenses and by using MySQL FOSS server software instead of the proprietary alternatives, Mimos claims that in the long term further savings are expected by not having to pay for software upgrades in the future. AgriBazaar also helps small-scale food producers like these women. They cook and package these snacks all day. Through AgriBazaar, they're now directly connected to the buyers enabling them to negotiate their own prices. Malaysia's digital divide is between the poor and rich, but this applies regardless of where you live. The point that has never satisfactorily been answered is the digital chicken and egg. Does being connected create wealth, or is connectivity a sign of it? The provincial government of Extremadura in southwest Spain is in no doubt. Badajoz is the ancient capital of the Extremadura region. This Spanish province, the size of Belgium, used to be one of the most economically backward parts of Western Europe. Its telephone grid was only just completed in 1980. Now it's leapfrogged the rest of Spain, with an intranet connecting the entire region. The twin challenges to connecting a scattered population of just one million were distance and money. Si asegurábamos la conectividad a todo el sistema educativo, asegurábamos la conectividad a toda la región, porque hay escuelas en todos los pueblos. Nos planteamos el objetivo de poner un ordenador por cada dos alumnos. Los números que nos salían nos asustaron mucho, porque estamos hablando de unos 100.000 ordenadores, poco más, poco menos, unos 100.000 ordenadores, y claro, la primera cuestión era, para que arranquen esos ordenadores, vamos a tener que pagar del orden de los 18 o 20 millones de euros solo para que arranquen los ordenadores. Y ahí surgió la posibilidad de poner en marcha el software libre. Es decir, el planteamiento fue, si nosotros conseguimos que esto que hay por la red, que es el software libre, lo podamos utilizar en esos ordenadores, nos ahorraríamos pues, del orden de 20 millones de euros cuando esté puesto en marcha todo el sistema. All the new computers are running Linux, a Spanish version of Linux developed locally. According to figures released by the Regional Minister of Infrastructures and Technological Development, the use of free software cost nearly 200,000 euros in 2002 to 2003, the period of installation. 40,000 copies went to schools. The authorities claim that if they bought the proprietary software, it would have cost them about 30 million euros. The Linux team also claim that free and open source software will actually save Extremadura money by extending the useful life of its computers. Por un lado había un ahorro en cuanto al software, pero por otro lado se ha hecho una inversión enorme en equipos que se pretende que se vaya amortizando a lo largo de los años en cuanto a que ese, esos equipos se podrán mantener durante más tiempo porque el sistema que utilizan es un software del cual nosotros respondemos y adaptamos a este hardware que tenemos porque una de las cosas interesantes del software libre es que podemos adaptar las herramientas a nuestras necesidades en muchas ocasiones. Extremadura is also providing free training and computer literacy courses using FOSS funded by the local authorities. Various websites have evolved from the computer courses including one with the recordings of hundreds of village church bells from around Extremadura. 
Apparently, by accessing the site and playing their local church bells, expats and migrant villagers, some who've moved as far away as Latin America, feel less homesick. As yet, only three of Spain's 17 other provinces have plans to follow suit. But Extremadura claims it is the only region in Europe with one computer between two students in secondary schools and says that this is in large part thanks to the use of free and open source software. Microsoft is not yet asking for whom the bell tolls. The size of the challenge in providing access to information technology, particularly in the, in the developing world, in the education sector, is so large that I think there's room for both models. And we all have a role to play in making sure that kids have access to the tools that they need for the 21st century.